everybody. Thanks for stopping back by Wild Bird Creative. It's been a crazy weekend here. We had a wedding yesterday, and I'm not used to that much activity and socializing, so it was pretty tiring, even though it was a fabulous time. So here I am Sunday evening, finally energized enough to get a video done. And I want to just discuss your recycling bin. Pretty much everything here is things that would have landed in my recycling bin. The bottom of an egg carton, a maple syrup bottle, another maple syrup bottle. I don't know what this bottle was, but I love it. It's cute. It's little. A cracker tray that I filled with Mod Podge and I let it dry because I liked the ribbing on the bottom. A piece of my daughter's old dollhouse. And then this nifty little thing that my daughter got in with something. It was protecting something in an order that she placed. So all I've done is gesso up a page in my composition notebook. And I'm just going to have fun making marks. There's not going to be anything difficult or involved about this because I just want to have some fun just making art. So I'm going to start with this because it just makes a great pattern. And I'm going to come back on that side, make it a cross hatch. Do the same thing up here. Just fun. That's all this is. Make sure that you make your creative time fun. So I don't know if you've ever looked at the bottom of bottles, but they have little ridges. Some are dots, some are lines. And they really make a cool pattern. So I think I'll do some in red. And again, I'm just fooling. I'm going to wipe that off quickly. And I'm going to flip it over so that I can use the fatter end. Now, using Distress Oxide, they're such nice, juicy stamps. You get a very vibrant color. I think from there, I will bring in the egg carton. And just put a couple of these. Now these make a nice texture because they've got a little woven detail to them. So you end up with that. This stuff you also don't need to wash when you're done. You can just leave it as is. That's one thing that's really nice about using recycled bits and pieces. There, there is no worry about what condition they're in. Okay, I'm going to take the little piece here from the old dollhouse. And it's just going to make really long lines that have a little bit of a shadow to them. Let me use this over here. Uh oh, I can't remember what side I put it on. Oh no, that's okay. It's all fine. Just doing See, I'm just having fun making marks. You kind of can't go wrong. It's a great way to just work with things and see what you like. I'm even using the cap of this. It makes a very funny little imprint. Let's see, what else have I got here? Oh, I have this. Let me 
get these out of the way because I need room for this. All I'm going to do is just roll it across that and then roll it across the page. just makes these great little squares. I mean, how fun are those? Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is just use the other uh, maple syrup bottle. And it makes ovals. And I'm just adding them in randomly it's just fun that's all this is this was just a way for you to make some shapes have some oh just free time to be kind of silly I'm even gonna add if I can these in orange And I don't have to have this on here. I can use my fingers and just roll it. But you don't get as nice a roll just because you can't go all the way over. But it still works. So there we are. Now if I wanted to, I could certainly just throw down some more scraps on here. But I really wanted to just make this... A bunch of mark making. It's all I really have time for today. I've got my favorites. I had a good time. I might even grab this and pop a couple more in. You know, your creative time has to fit your life. Not everybody can set aside an entire day. Sometimes all you have is 10 minutes. Sometimes not even that. Just use what you have. Check your recycling bin. It's a great place to find things. Just have fun. It's a great stress reliever. You can't go wrong. I can always take this page out, tear it up, and add it to another piece. It's just in a composition notebook. I can come back to it later and add any number of items and make a layered piece on top of it. I might even do that. I don't know. Right now, because I painted earlier, I know I have a paint roller that is soaking and needs washing. So that is what I am going to go do. I hope that you'll check your recycling bin just for some odds and ends that you can use. Get a composition book. You can put down gesso. You can also just use white acrylic paint, a thin coat. That way it doesn't soak through quite so much. Grab your stamp pads and just have fun. Thanks everybody for stopping by Wild Bird Creative.